Hello everyone. In today's video, we will see how we can design a stunning website layout or an app layout by using Figma. Now, if you are interested in UI design, then this video will be very helpful for you. I am Saifur Rahman from Lancer Code and let's get started. To get started, click on the link below in the video description and it will bring you to this page. And then we will select get started for free. Figma is completely free, so you can easily get started with a free version. Then I will connect with my Google account. And it will bring you to this page. Now we are inside the Figma. So we will create a design from the scratch. So click on design file. And then we will find this board. And here we will design our website layout. So first to design a website layout, we need a frame. So to take a frame, select on this one and choose frame. And from here, you will see the frame details. So as we are going to create a desktop layout, so we will click on desktop and then select desktop and you will get the frame here. Now we will start with a section. So to start with a section, click on this one and take a rectangle. And then we will drag from here And we have created a rectangle. Now let's give it a color, select on this one and choose a color. So let's say I am going to take a something dark and done. Next, if you want to add some text, you can take this text and then put it here. After putting the text, then you can change the text size. So here you can see there's a text medium bold so keep it extra bold so we will keep the text extra bold then increase the size so let's say i will keep it 40 and make it in two different way and then you can change the text so here you can change the font from here so let's say i will keep it this font and next we will add some text here so let's take the text again and then just put it here we'll decrease the size so let's keep it 14. so after it's done now let's put an image here so you can easily go to your download folder drag the image and put it here and your image will be shown here now you can reduce the image and put it here so now we have designed the layout now you can design the next section, just take the rectangle and you can design the next section here and start your designing for the layout. So this way you can design the desktop version. Now let's say I want to go for app. So in the same way, you can go and choose frame. And then from here, I will take the frame of phone. And let's say I will take the frame of iPhone 13 mini and here you will get the frame now if you want to design from the scratch you can do it the same way we did in for the desktop but let's say I want to make the design from a design tool so for that you can go here and then go back to files and from here you can go to explore community so coming here we will search for travel app so let's say we will make an app for travel and then hit enter. And from here, you will get lots of layout details for your travel app and you can choose from here. So we are going to choose this one and I'm selecting open with Figma and this will open in a Figma account. And here you can see our design has been opened in a Figma account. So we have got a key layer. So let's say here there is a menu and here there is a whiteboard and then there is a welcome and you can change all the images and everything. So let's say I will change something from here and I will add a image here. So you can go to your C and then drag an image here and this image will be attached here. So let's decrease the image size. 
and then add the image in this part. Okay, so we have added the image. Now you can see that the other part has been gone. So here you can see there is a, a layout option. So here just drag this one and put it in up and you can see this layout has been there. So here the layout is there now. All right, now let's say I want to add some text here. So you can add some text. So let's uh, add some text here. So click on this one and you can add some text. So let's say, uh, so we have added the text here and now let's add a button. So click on this one, take a rectangle and we will add a button here and change the button color to something to match the color of the layout. And then you can just uh, make the button radius to like let's say 35. And this would be radius. And then we can add a text in the button. But let's say find. And after it's done, you can just put this one here. Right. And here you can add a logo. So let's add a logo from here. RPC just to drag it here and then you can add a logo and put it here. So we have added the logo and the layout of the design. You can change the color of these things. So click on this one and you can actually make the color to red. So next here we have a layout and we have another design. So if you want to change that image from here and then select on this image and we will change the image to this one. And you can see the image has been changed. So in this way, you can make it the way you want. And here also, you can drag it and put it a little bit left. So now let's design this page from scratch. So how you can design it? Just I will take a frame here, new frame, and then you can go with the frame here. So I will take this frame and I'm putting it here. And then you can see there is an image here. So just drag an image from your PC and put it here. And you can put the frame here in this part and you can decrease the frame size. And here you can see there is a rounded option from both sides. Just click on this one. And let's say this is the rounded option. So 35 from the bottom. So here you can see this part has been 35. So we will click into this one. So just make a round from this part and you can see we have got this round now if you want to take the text you can easily take the text from here or you can copy and paste it here and this text will be pasted here and then if you want to copy this one and paste it here and then you can paste the here and you can also paste the, copy this one layout and you can put it here now, if you want to put an icon like this, you can easily put an icon. To put an icon, go to this layer here and then click on plugin. And then you can go for icon. From here, you can actually get so many icons layout from here. So we will go with the icon scout and click on run. Then click on this one and then click on explode. And from here, you can take the icon as you like so i'm going to so let's say back arrow and you can search for the icons so here we have the so many icons here so you can take the icons which are free so i'm going to take the free one from now and you can drag it and put it here and then here you can just decrease the icon size and you can change the color of the icon to white and you can actually decrease the opacity from here and here you go so i'm going to delete this one for now as i don't need this one so just delete this one and here we will delete this layer now let's say if you want to visit and if you want to see how it looks in the mobile here you can click on the play button and you can see the prototype in mobile how it looks so here how it looks in mobile view so you can take the arrow key here and you can check, check how it looks in mobile. And you can see this looks good in mobile. Now let's say 
you are selecting this one here now let's say i want to see the interface how it looks so like let's say i will click on find more and then after clicking on find more it will go to this page and from this page it will go to this page how i can do that one all right to, so to do that let's go to our design so if you want to move the pages like interaction like let's say i will click on find more and then it will go to this page and from here if it's like this one it will go to this page so how you can see that one so to do that we will click here prototype and then here you will see you will get this plus icon in every part so let's say i will hit this one and drag this one to this part so when i will click on this one on click it will navigate so uh, i don't need this thing so let's say this is none so on click this will navigate to this page okay and then when i will select this one so let's say i will select another prototype like let's say here if i select this one and this will take me to this page and this one will also navigate to this page and here this one will be instant or i can say let's say it will be moving okay and now let's preview in figma so here you can see the design is here now if i click on find more it will bring me to this page and when i will click on this one and this will bring me to this page so you can easily take that interaction by this prototype so now let's say if you want to export any file so here you can just select all of them and right click here and here you will select group section and also for this one we will group this one group selection and then you can select this part any one of them and you can export group one and here you can see you have that exportation file now if you want to export all these three pages click on this one click on export and click on export three layers and then here you will see you have the three images in this part group one group two and group three also if you want to share this design to your friends or if you want to share this design to your client you can click on share and you can put their email id and if you want to give the access they can view they can add it so let's say i will give them a view option now here if i come to this mail here i can see i have the mail here so if you open in figma and the person can view the file so in this way you can actually design your app layout or website layout by using figma and i hope this video come to you as a help I hope you all enjoy the video. To see more videos like this, do subscribe the channel. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye bye.